What's going on you guys? This is Kyle, other known as Blasty Joker, coming at you with a recap of Gommel 2019. So this past weekend I went to Get On My Level 2019 in Toronto at the exhibition where they were holding one of the biggest Canadian Smash Brothers tournaments in the entire country. And uh, ironically enough, I only went as a spectator because uh, by personal uh, thought, I am not the greatest Smash Brothers player. I went there just to watch the event and enjoy it as much as I can. So, yeah, I got some pictures with Mango, Hungrybox, well, actually, I'm going to show Mango later, but Hungrybox, Axe Amsa, who might be later on in the video, and I got some more uh, pictures with Floyd and maybe some other players that I uh, got on this specific phone because my other phone, I use this phone for majority of the filming, and a lot of the times, like, when I tried to edit, this just didn't work out for me, so I may just stick with my phone. From now on that it does mean that it's going to be less clips than usual but for now this is what i got but anyway to continue on it it does seem kind of weird that i'd be wearing three different sets of clothes because it is a three-day weekend and it's not one day which would take a long time for that to work out but without any further ado let's get on to gommel 2019 the vlog of blaster joker <laughs> So just a heads up, I completely forgot that I can't actually film in the venue, so yeah, that's the Better Living Center. As for Gommel is, I'm only going to be showing like the outside of the venue, I'm not, not going to be filming inside a venue, so I may add like one or two clips, I realize that I can't do that, so yeah, anyway, off to locals, I gotta go to a place before uh, heading over to 401, I might go to Game Nation, I don't know, so yeah, I'll check back with you guys. Stop here at ANC Games. I just gotta get something. So, right, give me a second. This is one of my Alright, so before we continue on, that clip was very quiet because I was on the subway and I did not want to bother anyone there and make it look extremely weird filming myself with a selfie stick. So, as a recap of what I just said there, I said it was day two and I'm going to go and I'm going to try to get some clips. Now, I did get a few clips, but there wasn't that much, so this is what I got for you guys. Those uh, those cool clips. 
It was, there was actually one game where uh, Moki, one of the Canadian players, actually almost beat Hungry Box. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, also, like, you know when you get those feelings, like, you come from a Yu Gi Oh background and you're so used to actually handshakes, and then you go to a different event and it's all fist bumps and it gets really awkward? Yeah, that was, that was, that was me all day. <laughs> this is a true fact, by the way, because. I come from a Yu-Gi-Oh background, and I will. It's going to be mentioned a lot. So, when I got the uh, picture with Hungry Box, right after I did this, and he did this, I was like, "Oh!" <laughs> so I switched my hand into a fist bump, and we just did the fist bump. So, if just a recommendation, if you're at a Smash Brothers tournament, and you come from a Yu-Gi-Oh background, it's a fist bump, not a handshake, unless it's a very good game, and you wash your hands. Yeah, that happened. Anyway. Uh, I'm still using handshakes because it's the more polite way because Canadian. One, it's, I come from a good background and it's also more polite. But it's okay. And I learned that it's just this bump set of Smash Bros. event. And it's okay. But uh, yeah, uh, one awkward moment is, uh, one awkward moment was I got to get a picture of 100 bucks. Might see it up there. Uh, and right after he just did the fist bump, I was like, oh, a handshake, great, fist bump, great. <laughs> so, that's on me, anyway. Alright, so just a quick heads up, I didn't decide to film anything later on, so we're going to continue on to the next day. What's going on, you guys? This is day three of my Gamma vlog. Unfortunately, I didn't get that much from yesterday. I just tried to get as much as I could, but I will be showing a few more clips. I'm gonna try to sneak in some clips today. If it doesn't work, then that's completely fine. I'll tell them to just put it away, and then I'll just walk my way back home. And then I'll probably edit this tonight. Get the walking of this. Maybe. So, I'll see you guys. They're gonna start top eight soon for melee. Better be good. Mega win it. Everybody in this audience, are you guys ready for some Super Smash Brothers melee? Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Let's do it! Some of the finest competitors in the entire world are here. Three countries represented, and again, eight players. We're gonna be looking at the winner's bracket, Hungry Box versus Leffen, a classic rivalry. And then California, Espat versus Mango. And on the loser side of things, we've got Axe versus Zane, another uprising rivalry. And then Moki, the hometown hero from Toronto. Woo! This is going to be an absolutely ridiculous top eight, guys. You're going to want to stay glued to the screen for as long as possible. And without further ado, let's introduce the commentators and the players. Vish, Tove, do your thing. Oh, let's start. My voice is gone, but I'm here with a couple friends. Are you guys okay on camera? All right, cool. So I'm here with a couple friends I just met. So do you guys think it's gonna be Mango Axe in final? No. I no. Don't I think it's gonna be Mango Luffin. I think it's gonna be Mango Luffin. Uh, I got a feeling uh, it, it's gonna it's 50 50 for me. It doesn't really matter. All we know is Mango is in top top two, right? Right? Yeah, yeah right. Winning. Man, all we know we know that Mango's winning. That's oh, fucking easy. All right. Yeah, geez. Now we're going on to Left and X. And what's great? Hungry Box is not in, but he played his ass off. So yeah, you're doing button checks right now, but we'll check in at the end of the game. See if Axe can do it. We'll be right back. Right after these messages. All right. So yeah, I guess I forgot to record that, but I was so in the zone. And Axe ended up winning and ended up going to Mango Axe uh, Wednesday, ironically, in the finals of Gommel 2019, which was actually really sick. Uh, 
It was just as soon as Axe won against Leffen, I spotted the Pikachu doll, if you saw on the stream. Uh, or the Detective Pikachu on the stream. He, Detective Pikachu is actually there. I might show, um, definitely while I'm recording this specific uh, audio uh, clip, it'll be pictures of me and Pikachu there. Uh, for you guys, but anyway, um, let's get on to the award ceremony because if you've watched the stream, I think you know who won, and I'm actually happy uh, this individual won this tournament for Smash Brothers Melee. Let's get to it. Your mic's not on! <laughs> Thou shalt not sleep on the kid! But of course, we had eight fabulous players step up on the stage today. We had so many players come through and try their best all weekend. But let's take a moment to celebrate all of those who made it to Sunday, made it to play on this stage. In seventh place, we have Panda Global Zane. Tying for seventh place, we have Toronto's own EMG Moki! Let him know, folks, let him know! Tying for fifth place, coming from Southern California, CLG SPAC! And right along with him, as well in fifth place, Team Liquid's own Hungry Box. Also from Central Florida, standing next to his brethren, it's gonna be Wizro. Falcon is sick. All right, third place. You know him from Sweden, TSM Lefty. Okay, one of our grand finalists coming all the way from Arizona, from Southwest to North. It's gonna be Tempo Axe! Pikachu! 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 I know mine too. And our grand champion. was a win go, of a lifetime. Big Mango, baby! Basically, Mango just won Gombo 2019 for Melee. Our voices are gone. I have a headache. I don't know what's happening other than that. Big shout out to Mango, by the way, for winning. Uh, we're going to keep going until um, Ultimate, so yeah. Zach. Alright, so 
They're getting ready to play Ultimate. God, after this, I'm gonna go to a convenience store and get some water or something. My throat is gone. I'm dehydrated. I don't know if I'm gonna live, honestly. If I can survive, I can survive. Whatever. It's all good. What do you think is gonna win this? I don't know, man. It's a hard bet. I think MKLA got the tournament, bro, but I don't know. I know, but he's in losers, so you think he's gonna pull the mango know, from man. like 2013? I don't know, man. We'll see. It's gonna be a sick top eight, actually. The top eight's actually really good. The only one person that's missing, if he didn't go into retirement, where the fuck are you, Zero? Where the fuck are you? No hard feelings or anything, or anything negative. This is great. So, yeah. We're getting a video. Oh my god. I need water. <laughs> okay, so my beanie's back on. Eastam just won against Cosmo. And a lot of people bet Eastam against this one guy who bet on Cosmos. I think he lost like $25 to $30 Canadian. So that's like $20 US. But yeah. Now it's gonna be MK Leo versus Shuyo James. It's battle against America, basically. Central being Mexico and North being United States of America. Yeah. I have a feeling Leo is gonna win, or um, who else is in top eight? Isim. Not well. Yeah, Isim also and uh, Tweak. I don't know who. I don't know who else. And it just happened. So yeah, that's awesome. I don't know what happened. And Kaleo swept. I match up the socks. Huh? I match up the socks. Really? Yeah, you're, fine on, you're fine on camera, right? Was that? Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. So yeah, what do you think of that matchup? Awful. I mean, you see Krom trying to get up with up B. There's literally almost no way he can do it if really? Joker has our scent and just uses down B counter. Because like, Krom doesn't have much going for him recovering wise, unless he like tries to air dodge down and carries air drift. But like, even that up B is so linear. Yeah. Down B is just it's funny because like I can understand you to a certain extent because I like, like I was here for melee yeah. and I watched Mango destroy, yeah. but like I'm seeing ultimate and this game is like really sick because of the plays that are being made. So. Of course, yeah. And it's it opens the door because there's a lot of there's a lot more character diversity too. Yeah. Because melee is obviously taking bolts about like eight characters nine maybe. And yeah. Uh, also, I didn't know this, but. A lot of people, like, there's someone here that's actually betting on players. Oh, you didn't know about cyber culture. I didn't. Know about cyber culture. Yeah. No, because I don't keep up with, like, any, like, the sma like the ultimate community that's that much. That's not even just Smash. That's, that's FGC in a nutshell. Oh, that's just FTG. Oh, I didn't oh know yeah. That. That's been a big thing for a while. Yeah, because, I, like, I never, like, this is my first, like, right. premiere event to go to. Because yeah. I come from Yu Gi Oh! And right. usually, like, those events are, like, YCS is, like, YCS or nationals and stuff. And I've been to a couple YCSs. And this is more. This is actually a lot more fun than. I, I, I would figure as much, yeah. <laughs> but like, like coming from like a Yu-Gi-Oh background, I play so much. It's like you're always thinking. Here, you're just playing your ass off. True. So yeah. Anyway, we're gonna. They're starting um Mars versus Nairo. So. That's right. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for being in the video. Yeah. See ya. We'll keep. We'll keep you posted. What? That was game two, it's one apiece. People are happy because they want Mars to be Nairo. That just happened. So that was insane. Um, Mars be Nairo. Some people made more bets. Right? What's up? Some people made bets. Oh yeah, I mean, that's not surprising. They made good bets. And a cat got his house cleaned again, so that's good. So yeah, next up we got our last winner set. Give me yeah. Sam Sora, so that's fine. Oh yeah, there's, there's uh, Sam Sora and who else? Tweak. Tweak. So that's gonna be good. I'm not sure what character Tweak's gonna go, but Sam Sora, you already know he's got the beach. Yeah. So. By the way, how old is uh, Tweak, by the way? Tweak, yeah, I believe he is 19. He's my age? What? Yeah. He's been around for at least like five years, six years in the scene. That's nuts. Yeah. And the kid's really good too. 
He's been he's definitely been rising up those ranks. So we'll see what he does, right? Alright, so they're all making more bets. So who you got? Of course, of course, I gotta see what's up. Yeah, I got tweak, I got tweak. I don't wanna give you money. Who who you guys have for? I got that door. More bets happening. Um these guys are betting also. Sorry, I don't know if you're a cut the phone camera or not. Alright, cool. I just wanted to make sure because yeah. <laughs> no. He's not even a top player. He's not even a top player. Maybe, maybe to some people, yeah. yeah. Maybe to You see, this is why melee has. Double 2019 has one of the best melee top eights so far, possibly in any tournament. I could be wrong. I have people staring at me, which is kind of creepy. No offense or anything. Sorry. All right. No, I know some people. Some other people were staring at me, but uh, yeah. So we're about to go into more information, and this matchup is Sam Sorin's week, like we mentioned earlier. And I'm, ex I'm kind of, I'm actually pretty excited for this one because I know these two are, like, really good. Except I'm still, like, iffy about playing, uh, what you would call it, ultimate sometimes. And, yeah, everyone's just really betting everyone else. Holy shit. Yeah, and a cat, you know the cat's got a tweak here. You know the cat's got a tweak here. Yeah. I guess this is definitely the Smash Ultimate thing to do if you're bored as hell. And you want to make some some easy cash. Or if you're an idiot, you lose cash. I never That's lose it. cash. He doesn't lose cash. I'm 2-0. 2 side bets. I'm SSM side bets. 2 side bets. Two side bets. I have Nakat's money in my wallet. Yeah. And there are also times where sometimes we all scream like girls. Money, your money in my right, wallet too. Oh, yeah. He wants money in my Absolutely. wallet. I don't even think they're paying attention. They're busy side betting. Don't worry. Don't worry. Right, anyway, yeah. So, a lot of betting, a lot of money, either being won or lost, a lot of lady screams. Oh, I, that's for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, so that just, it's just what happens. It just comes out of our mouths. That's Canadian oh, screaming. Canadian, Canadian screaming. Canadian bro. cheering is screaming. Yeah. 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 I wish I could do that, but my voice is literally gone in some way, shape, or form. I mean, so like, my voice is like, like, I feel like I'm really raspy when I talk because of that. But uh, yeah, this man's making a bet. This man's making bets like crazy. Yo, Riddle's about to wipe that smile from his face once more. <laughs> you see it, Riddle's with me. They're still making bets. More bets are happening, holy shit. More bets, more bets, more bets. Not me this time. I don't have cash, I only have change. That's how poor I am right now. You now I can get money for food, if I wanted to. And possibly Red Bull. Probably not the best idea. Anyway, it's gonna be Esame versus Nairo. Esame, Esame, same person. Esame versus Nairo. Nairo looks like he's sick for some reason. But then he's really, but then it's his nerves. Yeah, more bets, more bets. I see bets happening. Someone likes Detective Pikachu for some reason. Oh look! But uh, yeah. I'm living, so. Anyway, um, make sure you also go check out either the stream or the aftermath of the stream. So, yeah. Anyway. Guys, best play, who do you think is gonna win? Um, honestly, I missed game one, but uh, I think I think he's gonna pull this out. He's been playing on these fire balls today. Yeah, he's been pretty fire. Uh, what I've been noticing. A lot of people are saying Naira is gonna win too. So I mean, that's the thing. We're both top players. They've both been at this level for a long time, so it could go either way. But I think he's gonna win. Oh yeah. I personally think one of them just win it. I don't care. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. It's like that. Sucks that it's losers. So. What can you do? Money's been going back and forth. People are betting on on. People are betting on the wrong people. What the fuck? I love you. 
Like literally, people are betting on the wrong people. Something happened. Did any of you guys make bets? No. I'm sorry. No, not far. MJ Leo. MJ Leo. Leo. Leo and Sora. Did you bet? Did they all bet? It's been bets at front row. What the fuck? This is definitely something I'm not used to. Some people just made money. Leo just won. Who made their money here? This guy? Let's go. And you too? Let's go. Something like this. Some people made their money. That's all that matters. Everyone was putting on some Sora for some reason. And then some Sora gets knocked out because Leo's broken. But well, honestly, that matchup was really good. Holy shit. There are bets still running in this game. There are bets. There's still bets. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised. I'm, su I'm still surprised. Is this like every? Is this every top eight? Everyone bets on someone. People are losing money everywhere. Either losing or gaining money. No matter what, money's being spent or gained. Look, this man. This man wants money. This man wants money. I got two. Look at this. Look at this wallet. Holy shit! Look at that monopoly money you got there. But yeah, this. But yeah. Anyway. Smart. Everyone's smart. But yeah, this man's got monopoly money now. Monopoly money. Yeah. Look at look at that look at that monopoly money. Yes, that's 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 there. That's the last. That's the highest. It's. Hey, it's it's easy cash. Easy cash. Mars. Anyway, we'll be right back. We'll be right back because now it's gonna be Mars versus Sweet for winners finals. Um, I'm not betting because I'm literally broke and I only have change. I need money for food. Anyway. Sun's about to happen, and Mars ended up going to final. So it's gonna be a rematch of uh, Mars and Tweak from Winter Semis. I'm pretty stoked. East End played his ass off. It was very good. I'm actually glad that I stayed for Ultimate. This is brand new to me. All right, anyway, we're gonna get to here now. You guys like Ike? Yeah. Man, I swear you were all just cheering for Ethan a minute ago. That's so deep. But it doesn't matter. Mars with his Ike gonna advance into the grand finals. He's gonna get a run back from the winners' finals against his teammate from doubles just on Friday. Guys, oh, yeah, I didn't know real that. quick before we hop into things, I want to thank you all for coming out. All 1,500 plus bodies that came through the door of Get On My Level 2019. I've said it before, I'll say it again. This is the largest fighting game event that Canada has ever seen. And I have faith that we're going to continue to break that record year after year as Gommel has continued to do. Anyway, guys, I don't want to take too long. I know you guys want to watch this match just as much as I do. So real quick, we're gonna call up to the stage first from winner's side, looking to defend his status. That is TSM Tweak. This man has been making a tear through the back of his Wario before switching over to Roy out of nowhere to clinch out the winner's finals against Mars. But guess what? He's probably bringing something new to the table as well. 
my man from New England, one of the best in the business, the only zero suit doing it right now on this level. Guys, give a warm Canadian welcome to PG Mars. Yeah, question for y'all. Do you think we're going to get a reset? Or nah. I see it. I see it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Sweep or reset? It might be a sweep. Uh, a reset? Would you see a reset? Huh? Would you see a reset? Maybe, maybe. I hope you guys all did too, whether you're at home or you're here with us in the venue. Just real quick, give it up for our entire top eight before I name them out one by one. We have such a good spread of characters, such a good spread of car uh, players and regions all throughout. So first, I want to introduce tied for seventh place from Texas originally and now representing the Midwest from Ohio. It's Panda Global Cosmos! The show your James couldn't be here, but he also tied for seventh for the home state of New Jersey. So props to James. Yeah, so Cosmos! Up, tied for fifth. Originally from Louisiana, now relocated to South Florida. One of the best in the business, the best peach. That's the United Sam Sora! <laughs> And tying with him, one of the longtime veterans of the game, someone very close to me in my heart. That's my boy, Energy Mario! <laughs> the kid, the lone representative of Mexico, with all of the swordsmen in the game, including Joker. We've got Alpha Fox, MPG, MK Leo! does it gumble 2019 comes to an end i'm probably gonna get some pictures before i go it's been an amazing event uh man so much fun just to watch i wish i was good so i could play but i gotta do what i gotta do 
I'll recap when I, I'll, I'll come back to you guys with a recap when I get home. And that's pretty much it. So just to recap on everything, Mango won Melee and Tweak won Ultimate. And that was actually a really cool thing to happen. Both uh, Tweak and Mango are top players of perspective games. Uh, Mango being literally the fucking goat of Melee. Uh, and you have Tweak who is the young blood, who is my age, which is crazy enough to think about and he won uh, Gommel 2019. He did win last year with Smash 4, but that's a completely different game. We're now in games where uh, Ultimate is taking over. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Other than that, I really had fun. I got to take pictures of some of my favorite players. I got to meet some people that I never met before, from like Buffalo, from literally outside of Toronto. Basically, because I'm technically part of the Toronto area. I'm just out like in the GTA like Whitby. So Yeah, that's pretty much it for the videos. Thank you guys so much for watching If you like the videos feel free to like comment down below subscribe if you're new to the channel And if you like the content I'm creating feel free to hit me up on patreon Which is in the description below as a link because by donating a certain amount of money You can help me create more content like this for you guys and it gives me uh, a lot more opportunities like Gommel 2019. So all links are in the description below, but without any further ado, this is Kyle, peace and out.